Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode four of our Timberborn playthrough. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. Consider subscribing to stay up to date on this series as well as others. And leave me a like and a comment if for no other reason than it helps the engagement of the video so more people can see it and we can continue to make great series. So we will go ahead and get into a quick recap and then we'll get into the video. All right, episode four here. So in the last episode, we set up our cassava growing area. We are going to have three farmhouses here. One of them is already built. It's just not connected yet. Um, and I know that that's probably overkill for the amount of growable area we have right here. But in the future, when we do get dynamite, I plan to uh, dynamite out a pretty good section here. Maybe even throw in some irrigation channels to expand our cassava planting ability. So just kind of future-proofing. Plus, I like the, the way that this is set up. Having the two storage units underneath and then the, uh, the farmhouses on top. Food is the primary, uh, the primary driver of the beginning of this episode. Food is an issue. Um, currently, we have 100 kohlrabi in the bank and we have cassava. Um... But it's, uh, or we have cassava growing, rather, but we can't ferment it because we have no power to the fermenters. So, unfortunately, that will not fix itself until the drought is over. Um, but I would also like to take the opportunity to expand our kohlrabi by moving these berries. And that actually takes us to the first project that we're going to have. This whole area right here, um, and I'm actually going to unpause all three of these... Uh, workers here. This whole area is going to be redone. Um, now that we have this area set up and we might even expand it across the water over here and start growing some trees up here, we no longer need this. This was kind of our early game, get some wood going. Um, but for now, it's just not a priority. Considering priorities, I'm going to pause both of those just so that they're not eating up four workers. Um, but we are actually going to move this. So in order to do so, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to have them remove all of these pines and then maybe two more rows of oaks. We'll get that removed. And we will put... Let's reorder our priorities here. So let's get those removed first. Let's finish this platform here. Um, I'm going to put this farmhouse on lowest priority. I'm going to put this fermenter on moderate priority just because there's no power, so it's, it's not exactly urgent. Um, and let's see, after they remove those trees, I'd also love it if they would work on this whole setup so that we can get some enjoyment out of our beavers. That would be very good. And let's go ahead and speed this up. Um, and then I'm also going to move this to moderate priority so we can store the, uh, the planks in there as we go. Excellent. So once we get these berries out, we're going to come in and fill that up with kohlrabi, which I think will be good. We are also going to remove these oaks here, which we could probably go ahead and do. Let's get rid of all of those as well. Oh, and then I also want them to stop planting here. Because I don't want the forester to come in here and plant new oaks. Somehow we had one one lonely pine escape our escape our plans. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so once those are removed, we're gonna rework this area. Um, one thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna rip up this path here. And I'm just going to shift it down a little bit. I like to kind of separate. This is obviously not a good example, but I kind of like to separate the things that we're growing with paths. I just think it looks nice. Um, speaking of paths, I'm going to go ahead and extend this path across. Mainly because this storage unit right here. Uh, let's see, that's cassavas. I'm actually going to switch this. This is going to be fermented cassavas. 
and this one is going to be for the cassavas themselves. Um, and the reason for that is that that just gives easier access for the beavers to come and eat the fermented cassavas. So I think that that'll be nice. So let's go ahead and get this path in here. Who knows where that's going to go? Probably across the, uh, across the water. And let's come in here and let's get some berries planted. I'm going to have this guy, I don't think it really matters because I don't think he's prior, I don't think he's planting anything else. But let's go ahead and prioritize the berries for now. Okay, so what else do we want removed? Or built, for that matter. We're running out of planks, which is not great. So let's get let's get these logs removed. And the reason that I'm not getting rid of these berries just yet is that we need a constant flow of berries into our breeding pods in order to continue to grow our population. Um, so these berries take 12 days to grow, and then they take 12 days to actually produce berries at all. So I don't want to get rid of these because we will quickly run out of our stockpile of berries if we do so too early. Um, so that uh, that is the reason why we're not getting rid of them just yet. So this is going to be berries, and then this is going to be dandelions so that we can go ahead and start to get some medicine and we can eventually build our little hospital area, similar to like what we did in the first playthrough. Let's just get rid of all those, all those pines for now. I'm not sure what will go up here. Maybe cassava. Yeah, they don't really have a great catchment up there. So I'll probably hold off and uh, wait for the dynamite action to be able to, uh, be able to get the cassava in there. Okay, and we are fully stocked up on wood, um, which means they are not going to cut down these oaks. So let's just come through here. And we'll get them to cut down the oaks through brute force, sheer will. Okay, so while they cut those down, I would also like to get another log storage set up right here. So let's go into industrial pile. And then I'll probably add another two industrial piles on top as well. Just set all of these two logs. And let's see, now we're going to need some stairs in here. So if we get stairs up there, and then a path up there, and let's see, we're gonna make we're gonna make this bottom one high priority, but then I'm gonna make the rest of this low priority, just because it's not uh, it's not exactly essential to what we're trying to do. Just want to give them a little bit more area to uh, to work with. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those three. They are no longer needed. I'm going to keep the two gathering flags. Although we'll probably move them at some point. I'm going to set this to empty because we don't need logs in here anymore. So once they empty that out, we can go ahead and, and we just have so many logs. I'm just going to delete those. Once they empty those out, we can go ahead and uh, rework our setup here. Speaking of reworking the setup, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. And we can start to plant some dandelions in here. So let's get those going. You can work on those. And then I'm probably going to have like one... I'm going to need to see how this, how this works. I'm going to end up removing this and hopefully removing this hauling post.
Okay, and our drought is ending. So we can go ahead and open back up our pumping stations. And then we should start to get some power in here. I'm also going to put the fermenter on the highest priority so that that gets built. Just needs a few logs. And we should be good. Let's see, yeah, the water's coming down now. That'll give us power to the fermenter. We have a good stockpile of cassavas. And these already have cassavas stocked um, in them, which is good to see. And now let's get the last few dandelions planted in there. I'm actually not going to plant them there, just so that I can get a nice symmetrical shrub on there. Okay, we now have power, so let's unpause both of these so that we can actually get some planks going. And we have 12 vacancies right now. We're still cranking away with the uh, with the breeding, which is really good. Oh, and I actually, I do need those gatherer flags for now. Just because if I don't have them, there's no, um, there's no one gathering gathering the berries let's see I kind of want to move the I kind of want to open up this whole area here and not have the gatherers in there so to that end I might put two sets of gatherer flags down here like that and then I might put two sets over here. And those will all service this area. Yeah, because these can almost reach to the end of the berries. And these can almost reach to the end of the dandelions. Perfect. Okay, now for the dandelions, we're going to need some storage. So let's put... Just uh, two of those. Actually, do I want a do I want a large storage for dandelions? Probably. So maybe I'll do something like that and get a medium warehouse in here, and we can store the dandelions in there. I don't know how many dandelions we need. I never I never know how many dandelions we actually need. We can go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, and we are starting to get fermented cassava coming in, which is great. Um, very necessary for what we're trying to do. Let's get those picked up if we can. We're getting a decent amount of planks in here. We're getting enough power. Not, not, by, a, not by too far of a stretch, but we're getting a decent amount. All right, so let's go back into our prioritization. Take a look at what we want to get done. Let's get this whole thing done next. Except for that farmhouse. That, that doesn't need to be done right away. And we are starting to get some homeless beavers. I'm going to take the opportunity right now while these are all empty. to get rid of those so that we can expand our housing. So let's go into housing. We're gonna get a barracks there. We're gonna need a couple platforms there to get the other barracks in. And then we'll need a path through there. And then if we go into decoration, Man, that takes 30. I forgot the... Yeah, the, their beaver statue takes 30 iron. So I guess for now. Shrub, as always. Could also get... A nice shrub up there. That's nice. That looks good. Uh, and then... Could I also get a shrub in here? 
Yes. Very nice. Just giving it a little character, you know? Everybody likes a shrub. Um, okay, so let's go back into our priority. They are almost done with this. They are done with it now. So let's go in to priority. And let's say... Build this little setup over here. First. And then what? And then what? What are we building after that? Kind of thinking the housing should be next. After that gets done. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay. So these are 75% of the way there. So... Only three more days until we get the blueberries, but then we have to wait another 12 to actually get them grown. And I'm I'm slightly concerned as to whether this is enough blueberries. Because I am going to replace this with kohlrabi. Um, the whole area is within the farmable area. But I almost wonder if I should eat away a little bit more from these dandelions. Let's get rid of those. All right, and we have 15 vacancies. Yikes. 15 vacancies is pretty extreme. So I know that four of them are our science, one gears, Yeah, that is that is not good. Let's check this out and see where they're where the vacancies are. Science. How many jobs are these science? That's only one. So that's four. This is ten. So that's fourteen, and then yeah, one more. What is it? It's a gatherer. And I'm going to put these gatherers on moderately high priority. Oh, and I got rid of the forester, which means that I can't actually plant anything. So I'm going to have to get a forester back in there so that I can plant more berries. Definitely a mistake on my part, but that is okay. That is okay. People make mistakes, I guess. You know? Only human, after all. Okay, so we should have the logs and the... We should have the logs and the planks in order to build this forester. So hopefully we get a forester in there to come and plant these and then we can go ahead and get rid of that. The log pile is done, which is very good. Let's move those. Should just be a few logs. And then we can uh, kind of work on what we got going on in here. And now, will that be enough berries? I have no idea. But anyway, that is okay. So let's go into science. We're going to get a few more science huts in there. Like that. And now let's get... We go into well-being couple shrines and a couple shrubs that is not at all a priority so let's drop that down to the lowest
Okay, so let's go back into our priorities here. Let's see what what they are. Okay, and we got a stranded beaver, so let's try and save him. There we go. He has been saved. I kind of want to get rid of this little industrial area because it is not... It is no longer going to be the priority. However, we just... We're not getting enough power over here, which is somewhat... somewhat concerning, to say the least. Um, we could unlock the engine, which uses Burns Wood provide power is not a bad idea and I could build it out like over the water could build it over here this is fairly unusable area um, so let's go ahead and do that let's unlock the engine let's see how big it is okay so it's three by three okay so if we come in here one two three So that would be three by three. We could get an engine in there. And then let's see, I kind of want to just go right over the top. Connect in like that. And then if we go into, back into wood, we could get a couple of those in there. Although I kind of want these to have easy access to the, to the planks. rip this whole thing out for now um, just because I am going to end up putting another industrial pile up there let's get a single in there I just need to have a way up. So we can bring them up like that. And that will be logs, and this will be obtain as well. Bring them over to the industrial area. Okay, nice. So if that's the case, so if our gears are going to go in here... Like that. Let's see, if we get maybe three more making planed timber for construction purposes, we'll have a road coming out like that, and then we're gonna have to jump power. So if I bring this road over here. Let's see, we go back into wood. Get maybe three gear workshops in there. And we're going to pause these as well. Again, not priorities right now. However, if we go into power, we're going to have to jump here. Like that. Get a path in there. We can get a shrub in there. And a shrub in there. And connect that path up. And then I'm not sure what's going to go in here as far as like an industrial building. I guess it doesn't even need to be industrial. It just needs to be something that's gonna jump power number cruncher 
I have no idea how big that is. Yeah, so for now, I'm just gonna run straight power shafts in there. We can actually unpause the construction of all of that. And let's go back over here and let's kind of see how we're doing. Still have 15 vacancies, which is not great. We are nearly fully stocked with dandelions, which is good. Our berries are almost there, so I can go ahead and get rid of these once these start to populate. And then I can go ahead and get rid of all of this. And let's have them just pick up whatever's there. There's going to be gears over there that they actually can't store. So let's get a storage in there. And this will be for gears. Do I need two storages for gears? I don't think so. I do not think so. And then how we're going to get the power from our... Ooh, does this need metal? Oh, it does. Excellent. <laughs> that is excellent planning on my part. All right, so it looks like we're going to need more, uh, more power wheels. Let's see, I'm not going to be able to get two rows in here. So I'll just do something like that, and then I'm going to connect those with power shafts, just like that. And then we actually could get large water wheels in here. Maybe like two of them, like one here. Yeah, so if I come in here with a triple platform, maybe build two of those. Get a water wheel in there. And then that's actually really going to help with our power, because we're going to get power shaft there, and then straight shafts running down here, and it'll tie in there. Very good. All right. All right, let's go back into our priorities here. Let's see how we're doing. All right, drought has started, so we will quickly pause all of those. Let's get a couple more woodcutters in here. Get four of them. Anyway. Let's check our priorities. So what do we want built? What do we want built? All right, so they're clearing these out. That's planks and gears. This is full up on planks. So let's prioritize. I want to get the storage for the gears built. And I want to get this built, this big power wheel. And you know what? Let's actually, let's get this built down here. So it'll be storage and big water wheel. And then we'll go ahead and work on this little science area. We'll build those lumberjacks over there. As well as this stuff. What do we want to prioritize over here? Uh, that's just going to be so many resources. 25 planks, 15 logs. This is 20 logs. Yikes. Alright, so one thing that I do want... Hauling post, builder's hut. I want some builder's huts, for sure. Maybe two of them. And let's give those moderate priority as well. Yep, 
actually, here, let's build those first. Let's lower that for now. And these are going to be just one notch above the hauling post, because I, I always want the hauling post to just be the, um, you know, the... I don't know how to describe it. The, just the place where the beavers go if they if they can't uh, they can't work anywhere else. If that makes sense. I think that that'll be good. We can go ahead and pause both of these. Nothing's nothing's being built using them anyway. Um, but now we have some extra builders, so hopefully that will allow us to. Uh, get working here. And once again, this is the furthest extent. Quite honestly, I might even make a dedicated district over here just for this little industrial area and just move them resources. Um, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Our food and our water are just not, they're not where we need them to be. Speaking of water, I think we could go ahead And get a little bit more water storage going on over here, considering we got rid of all of these ones. Okay. Very good. Our population is continuing to climb, which is good to see. How are we doing on this water wheel? We're getting there. I mean, it's going to need 80 planks, which we do have um, in all fairness, but it's just uh, it's just slow goings for now. I wonder if I put a path in there, will that help them kind of speed it up a little bit? So let's go highest priority there. And then we'll also do highest priority on these. Get those power shafts built. And then we need these smaller water wheels built as well. Yeah. These are going to be storing water. Of which we still have a good amount, so I think we're, we're doing okay for water. Um, six water pumps, that can do a lot during a full, a full wet season. What do we have here? This is kohlrabi. Oh yeah, because these can't ferment because there's no power. Man. It's, that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. But luckily the kohlrabi is kind of keeping us stocked. As well as the berries. Got a lot of berries. Let's get this in here. We can store berries. That will be good. And then I could actually go ahead and get rid of these and put in two more pods, which I think is what we'll do. So let's get this built. Let's see how they're doing over here. They're doing good. Got the large water wheel built, so I can go ahead and get rid of that. We will put in a little right angle there. And let's prioritize just these three pieces of power equipment once they get this built. All right, so our berries are starting to populate, so we can go ahead and clear this out. Prioritize that to get rid of that, and then we can plant some more kohlrabi in there, which I think will be good.
Okay, so we are on the final day of the drought. Things are going well. Population continuing to climb. We just need to be careful because iron teeth are one that could kind of get away from you if you're not uh, paying attention. Um, you just got to make sure that you don't just let that population run completely unrestricted. I kind of like to use my housing as a, as a good indicator that my population might be getting a little bit out of hand. Um, like for instance with water, currently we're okay. We did fine in this drought. Um, but it's very easy for things to just get out of hand really quickly. Um, with the iron teeth specifically, just because we can go ahead and pause those three. Just because of the way that the, uh, population growth works. As long as you have water and berries, that population will continue to climb. Um, and there's really nothing, you know, that you can, you can do about it. So I'm going to empty both of these small warehouses, get those goods out of there so that we can uh, get rid of those and put in two more breeding pods as I just got finished talking about, you know, not letting your population get completely out of hand. But anyway, it, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Okay. Let's check out our priorities. It's always good to check in, see how things are going. Let's get this built so that I can bypass this, uh, this little road here. Ooh, that was a disaster. <laughs> oh man. All right, absolute priority number one. Get that levee built. Yeah, that was that was an accident, to be sure. Come on, we gotta have we gotta have twelve logs, right? There we go. All right, perfect. Almost a disaster. And this is generating a decent amount of power not not terrible um i think if we get a second one in that would be that would be really nice if we got one in there can i even fit one in there all right so i would need a platform there i want to say Yes, I can. Now, how am I going to get the power there? That's kind of the the next question. I could do something completely ridiculous like that. And why don't we get... Nope. Why don't we get a set of stairs down here? Actually, what we might do... I'm just gonna delete that. And I'm gonna get a path through there. And then let's prioritize... all of that to get built first and then we can route our power back down the line all right so let's check out our priorities now they're going to build that first um, i kind of want to get that built this is a little decoration i think it looks nice these water storages are not getting built yet oh and we are about to run out of water missing like an entire day of uh, water production. We can get rid of those. We can get another couple pods built. Let's prioritize those. Okay, 
So we're getting some water pumped. Could I get a couple water pumps in here? Because I'm kind of thinking, getting a little concerned about our water. Let's see. I could get two in there. Like that. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get... I don't love that they're going into the waterfall there, so we're not going to do that, unfortunately. But we are going to need to find a place to add in a few more, a few more water pumps. Maybe in here? So if I come in here, get a path in there. Let's see, I could do one. Two. Maybe if I orient them this way. Something like that. I think that that'll be good. And then these will be the highest workplace priority, um, as all of our water pumps are. It's because I am a little bit concerned about the, about the water. So what I'm gonna do is make that highest priority. Drop that down one level. Okay, and we do have, yeah, a ton of vacancies, which are now eight here and 10 here. So that, that explains all of our vacant jobs is what it is, I guess. All right, is there anything that could be paused right now? I feel like science could probably be paused just for the sake of building building things a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm liking how this is going so far. Hopefully we can get this water, this water built, that is definitely, definitely a priority. We actually do have one hauling post, or one person in the hauling post, which is nice. You know, the hauling posts are, they're valuable. And we don't need anybody in here, just because, uh... Okay, and what is limiting us here? Oh, planks. Interesting. These are getting enough power. They each need 75. I guess it's just a, uh... Oh, there's no logs over here. That is what's doing it. Interesting. Okay, so I feel like, and we, we don't have the population for this, um, but I am going to go ahead and get another hauling post. Built? Actually, let's put that on a little bit lower priority. Simply because... We're going to need to prioritize both of these for haulers, or at least one of them. Um, just because if we don't, we're never going to get enough wood over here. To 
be able to do much of anything. And having a couple hauling posts would be very valuable. When all is said and done. Yeah, this, this is going to be waiting on metal blocks for quite a while. Um, unfortunately. Okay, so how are we doing? Oh, they got the, uh, they got our decorations done, which is really nice. And our shrines. Don't forget about the shrines. Beavers love shrines. Let's check this out. Any negatives on our well-being? No. And no negatives on our well-being, I think, is a pretty good place to end this episode after I make this prioritized by haulers, because I would 100% forget to do it in the next episode. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the series and you made it this far, definitely consider subscribing to stay up to date on this series as well as others. Leave a like and a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know anything you want me to try out in the future. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye.